Hallelujah, Jesus is risen. And, and what a great, great joy it is. What a great joy it is that we are here celebrating Jesus risen from the dead. When we think, though, of, of the resurrection, it confronts us all with some questions. Our Christian faith rests on the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Is, it that, not, is that not the fundamental core of what we believe? Jesus died for our sins and rose again to new life. That means we are confronted with some questions that we have to answer for ourselves. Who is Jesus Christ? Is he the Son of God? Is he risen from the dead? Is he alive? These are questions we need to answer for ourselves. And I'd like to share with you just briefly a, a journey of, of a young man, let's call him Michael. And uh, he writes, or shares this about sort of his coming to some of the answers of these questions. He says, I can actually point to a moment when the pieces of my fragmented life came together for the first time. I was a sophomore in college, going in several directions at once, trying to keep my options open, playing in particular with questions about God. On the day of my 19th birthday, I went into the woods on the outskirts of town and grandly announced to God, I'm staying here in the woods until you do it. What was it? to let me know for sure that he existed, to reveal how I could know him, to speak to me. I stayed in the woods all day and into the evening. I was hungry and thirsty and it was getting cold. I was a little scared, but I was stubborn. I was determined to stay in the woods until I got an answer. The answer came at about 8.30 in the evening. The puzzle of God suddenly cleared up in my mind. A conviction grew in me that he did indeed exist, and that the church indeed was an institution that told the truth about him. I could have confidence in it. The Lord spoke to my heart, too. He loved me. He would forgive my sins and heal my wounds. I was home. All this was a free gift of God. I was a desperate case, so he had pity on me and gave me everything at once. The 
These are the words of a young man who, on his 19th birthday, was confronted with these questions and answered them. For him, in that encounter in the woods, Jesus indeed is risen from the dead. Jesus indeed is alive. With great joy this evening, we are celebrating the Easter sacraments. We have two people being baptized, four entering the church, and seven in total being And they could probably all tell their own story about how Jesus suddenly became real to them. Whether it was a certain moment that, that this person, Michael, talked about, or whether it was something that gradually grew in their hearts. They have answered the question. Jesus is the Son of God. He is risen from the dead. He is alive. He loves me. And they come here for the sacraments to receive the gift of his grace, the gift of his love, the gift of his salvation. Jesus is risen from the dead. And the resurrection of Christ brings to each and every one of us questions. And how do you answer them? Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Do you believe that he is risen from the dead? Do you believe? Do you believe that he is alive and loves you? Tonight, as we all renew the promises of our baptism, let this be a new commitment of your faith and an answer to these questions. Yes, Jesus is alive. Yes. Jesus is risen from the dead, and he loves me. Yes, I do believe.